Given the current status of the market, you know, not only in AMC stock, but just across the board, you know, markets are in a very, very, very tricky position now because nobody really knows what's going to happen, at least in the next coming few weeks, just because everybody is kind of panicking when it comes to what is going to be the next move of the Fed and how market is going to react to it. So we already know that AMC stock as a stock in these current market conditions is a ticking time bump. But let me share with you a few things coming from somebody who whenever he speaks out, people tend to listen. And maybe what he just said, you know, I'm talking about Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, um, pretty much, you know, those who built um, Berkshire Hathaway, one of the most valuable companies in the world and in the stock market here in the US, all right? So maybe after listening something which I think really, really interesting when it comes to, you know, the way the market, you know, it's now operating, then maybe it could give a hint, you know, or some more insights to people at some places, you know, putting finally some pressure and doing something that the stock will benefit from. All right. So let me just react to um, listen first to what, you know, they're saying, and then we're going to react afterwards. All right. So um, listen to this. It's really, really interesting. Charlie, you got any comments on that? Is that something this crazy could have happened? <laughs> well, it happened. It's almost a mania of speculation that we now have. We have computers with algorithms trading against other computers. All right, folks. <laughs> I don't know if you caught it, but the title here first is Charlie Munger from Berkshire talk calls stock market manipulation incredible and incredible and crazy situation all right so they're talking about well the american the american as, as an industrial machine all right but now the stock market which was supposed to be the tool to finance this huge huge humongous growth you know on the industrial machine that America is has now turned into something something totally totally different and he's talking about well speculation speculation has now been crazy because you have everything's now turning into computers battling and fighting against other computers and this is why we're seeing such a f such i mean rattle in the markets now especially in stocks like like, like amc we got people who know nothing about stocks being advised by stockbrokers who know even less <laughs> I understand the commission, though. Yeah, it's, just, it's just an incredible, crazy situation. And it's weird that we ever got a system where all this equivalent of casino activity is all mixed up with a lot of legitimate long-term investment. The casino... <laughs> the casino machine. All right, this is something we... Often, often, you know, often within the real estate investors involved into UMC stock talking about, you know, this whole community of apes, as always, you know, maybe you've heard about, well, whenever, whenever this whole thing about the squeeze is done, man, I'm out. Why? Just because sometimes this market, the stock market in the US feels a lot like a casino, you know, something that will make sense all of a sudden it's not making sense anymore. And some things that do not make sense all of a sudden make sense. I don't think any wise country would have wanted this outcome. Why would you want your country's stocks to trade on a casino basis to people who are just like the people who play craps and roulette in the casino? That's a fair question. That's a very, very, and to me, that's the bottom, the million dollar question here, especially when it comes to AMC. Why will the country allow his stock market where we have almost... 90% of the money, you know, not 90%, but, you know, majority of the money flowing and being created as value, as wealth in the country, you know, it's being managed in the stock market. Why will a country such as the U.S. allow this market to be traded on a casino basis? Because whoever has the most money tends to always win. It's crazy, but it happened and it's respectable. Not with me, but with other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And look at look at what the country, I mean, they formed the New York Stock Exchange in 1792 under a buttonwood tree, and it really didn't seem like that was the eureka moment in America. But 
just look at what's happened using the system uh, for less than, you know, well, you know, three of my lifetimes. I mean, it's unbelievable. So, all right, folks, I'm going to pause here, you know, but feel free to go and watch the entire video. But the bottom line here is, I mean, um, this is re this is like this is pretty much <laughs> one of the reasons or the main reasons why EMC stock is not trading at where it's supposed to trade. All right. So for me, one of the takeaways here is, well, since these guys have a heavyweight opinion on the market and in the US, all right? We've been all kind of rock pool when it comes to whether you are in your long-term investments. I mean, since this year started or since, you know, yeah, pretty much this year started, my 401k, my Earth IRAs, my long-term investments are not moving. I mean, I keep putting money, I keep buying the dip, but it just, it is just not moving at all, all right? Now, imagine for AMC stock, all right? Now, the thing is, if only, if only, People in, you know, I don't know, the DOJ, people in the SEC, people at the DCCC, people at the White House, people at the SEC will do something about it. You know, the brokerage firms will do something about it because to me, this is pretty much painting the picture as something chaotic, you know, and when you have computers battling computers, of course, there's always going to be somebody at the end of the day reading. And when you look at what else is happening in the market, you know, when you look at, you know, our Kegel's founder, you know, release on bail after arrest on fraud and racket racketeering charges, this is precisely something that the DOJ and the SEC has been fighting, all right? So something, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a legal person, but I do know that, well, usually when somebody is held accountable on such, you know, security frauds, racketeering charges, you know, in order to get bail, they have some con concessions to be, you know, to be allowed. So maybe in order to get out on bail, he had to cooperate, you know, he had to give something. Maybe he gave something, you know, names. Maybe he gave something around uh, some other companies also being involved in the same type of charges that he will, because usually these guys, you know, because they evolve in a, you know, very small circle, they know what each other kitchens, internal kitchens look like. So maybe, you know, this will potentially give us, you know, these coming weeks or maybe in the coming months, especially where the markets sit now, you know, with all the margin calls that are about to hit a lot of accounts, even including the short sellers, then maybe, you know, some people will get scared or people will get cautious and get out before it gets even worse, you know, because the little hedge funds here, I mean, the little short sellers here, they don't have as much ammunition, they don't have much cushion as they used to given where we are heading towards and given where we currently stand. So just to say that, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a strong reversal here in the next coming weeks, um, uh, uh, especially, especially. But uh, yeah, things... Uh.